Hi, I'm Dave from Safety Dave, and in this video, I'm going to help you choose the right monitor for your car and caravan. What does one do, and how does one select the right type of monitor? Today, there are many, many different types of monitors in the marketplace, from the cheapest to the most expensive. But there are a number of features that you need. Obviously, when we look at the cheaper monitor, it has no glare protector on the top of it. So when you're driving through Queensland or Western Australia or even Victoria at some times of the year where we do get sunshine, you will have issues with glare. That is why it is far more suitable to look for a monitor which has the full sunshield glare protector over the top. You'll have no issues in terms of glare. The second challenge, obviously, in selecting a monitor is to get something with the right voltage. If you just pick a monitor which has 12 volt, then when you get a volt spike on your alternator of 13.2, the whole system will stop working and your manufacturer will void your warranty. Thereby, you need to pick a monitor which has 12 to 24 or 12 to 32 volt. What does one also look for in a monitor is how many inputs it has. Sometimes we're towing a boat, sometimes we're towing another car, sometimes we're towing a caravan. Sometimes we're going to want to have a camera on the front, sometimes we're going to want to have a camera on the back. Thereby, you must select a monitor which has a minimum of two inputs. And the simplest and the best inputs are the ones with four pin because you just plug in straight in and then get your power red to positive and black to negative and your whole job is done. The final thing I wanted to talk about today is that question that keeps coming up day and night and that is wireless versus cable. Why would one select wireless? It seems so simple. Just put a, put a camera at the back, put a monitor at the front, and everything should work. Unfortunately, from our experience and experience in the marketplace, there are just too many things that cause interference and challenges that make wireless not functional in today's environment. The last thing you want is when you're using your camera and monitor, for that one time you're backing up for it not to work and for you to back into a pole. So go the safe way, select the cable and you'll have no challenges. There are a number of different providers in the marketplace and therefore they provide different types of warranty. The key issue is repair versus replacement. You've bought something from overseas or locally in Australia and they say that the warranty is repair. Very simply you'll send it back to them. They'll wait till they get a whole batch and then they'll send it overseas. You're on your holiday, you're needing to use your car, your caravan, your boat, or for whatever reason, you need your camera, you need it all the time. By the time they've sent it there, by the time it's come back, it's been 12 to 16 weeks. Your holiday's ruined, you've backed into a pole, everything has gone wrong because of repair. When you're buying something, Ask the provider, will they provide you with a replacement warranty? And will it be inside 14 days from the time you send it back to them? Because if they can't, you shouldn't be buying from them. Because your holiday will be ruined or your work vehicle will be non-functional. If you have any questions, feel free to call Safety Dave on 1800 072 338.